power of rock to you all this morning. Um, we've got uh, Pink Floyd on today and their 1977 underrated album, Animals. Well, Paddy has struck first. That is the first hole of the day. And he's found a button. What, Pads? Nothing on there, but. Little Tom back. Little Tom back, but decent enough. Yeah, he's. Back's on him. He's in mm. good condition, actually, isn't he? Cool. Not bad. Nice day again, Pads. Aye! Not too hot, just right really. Bit of sun, bit of breeze. See how we get on. And Paddy's found this. Looks like um, pewter. Looks old, but no idea what it is. Three little dents in it, one's gone through. But that was something, and it's pretty old by the look of it. Yeah. Pads has got some, I've just had a, oh wow! So let's go and check it out. A leaf! Hey, look at that! Who <laughs> class is that? A thistle, isn't it? Thistle? A thistle? Or an oak leaf? I don't know. There it is. That's really cool. We don't know what it is, but it's off. Just some sort of decoration, brass. Maybe off a horse or something, or I don't know. I might just say it's that little square was uh, what I was trying to check out, but there's nothing, no information, or anything. Like but pretty good start, this. All right. It rocks. What a pads! It rocks, my son. Get in there. Yay, pound coin. Got to use all these up now because they're out of circulation soon. October, is it? Yeah, there you go. Uh, have to go and uh, pump them into a drinks dispenser or something. Well, I dug down and luckily the signal was in the side of the hole. And I've just popped it out and there it is, sticking, looking right at me, sticking out. Looks something cool. It's a good button. Oh, it's a great button. It's an actual regiment number on it. Mm -hmm. The 96. That's going to be a British Army button. 96 regiment of foot. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be something along That's those lines. Be 90, yeah, it's 96 res regiment of foot. That's a great little find. Hee <laughs> hee! That's the best I can do at the moment. But yeah, that's an absolute brilliant button. Look at it. Brilliant! So chuffed with it. Never found anyone. I've never found one like this. So I'm estimating it's early 1800s. That's my estimate. Could be Victorian, of course. Ouch! Go away, fly. Oh, the vicious flies around here. But yeah, that's a rockingly great find. It's all busy here today, They're making preparations for the uh, for a festival next week. It's all marquees up and whatnot. Looks like it's going to be a good day. There's a lot of uh, toilets. <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy shit! Yes! My first ever hammered! Paddy, you've hit 
bloody gold, mate. Look at that. Silver, in fact. <laughs> you <laughs> jammy b****. How me down. That is amazing. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what a rocking find. <laughs> My first ever hammered. Jesus Christ, look at it. Oh my god. I've got no idea what it is. <laughs> uh, no, I have. I've seen lots of them. It's a. Is it, is an Edward? I don't know. An Edward or a William, isn't it? I'm sure Long it is. cross, anyway. Oh my god, look at that. Some good neck. <laughs> what a coin. <laughs> yes! Oh my goodness me. Trying not to swear. Very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wasn't yeah. very deep. For four inches. <laughs> you, you bought that on eBay and just buried Did it. Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> that is nuts. Oh man. What a sweet little find. Solid silver. <laughs> Solid silver hammered coin. You never know. You just never know, do you? I see the soil, it wasn't like that in, in the cloud. It was going to almost like a button. And as soon as I cut a little bit off it, I seen the, the pellets straight away, thinking, this is hammered. It has to be. <laughs> I looked at it, I was like, it's hammered. <laughs> well done, mate. Okay. Well done. That is a bloody awesome find. <laughs> Absolutely mental. Oh, man. What a cracking little find. I mean that that is rare, you know, in our in our neck of the woods, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Especially with one as good as that. It's a, it's an Edward or a or a William. I can't remember which, but it's what. It's a bit penny there, wouldn't it? Something like that. I've right? got no idea in the day. It's I've, an easy I've, it's I've, an easy one to research. Isn't yeah, it? but I've got no obviously I've no experience with this. So. No, it's uh, 14, 13. Old. I'm guessing about 11th, 12th to 13th century. And that rang up a 74. Sure it is. 74. 74. There you go. And there only you about go. four inches in. Oh, that is just unbelievable. Nice one, mate. Well done. And how many times have you walked over this spot? <laughs> how many times? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Oh, get in, man. Buzzing over that. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing find. That is just amazing. You never know, you just never know. The jammy hammy little Irish leprechaun. I can't believe he's found that. Look, he's loving that now, isn't he? God jeez. Find of find of find of the year that'll be. Unbelievable. Nice, nice one though, nice one. It totally rocks. Well done, Pads. Farming machinery, possibly. Quite old, quite deep. <laughs> well, I just found this. Yeah, quite deep, about a foot down. Some sort of mount or a lid. Could be anything. I'm not. I'm not sure what that is. I know what that is. It's a medieval nipple holder. <laughs> yes, uh, that's a good guess, Pads. Obviously, you're still high as a kite from your uh, hammered coin, and yeah. <laughs> so he's having a victory smoke. You do realise that you won't find anything for the rest of the year. 
Unbelievable. It's taken me three years to find that one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I've got to be honest, we have worked for, the, for that coin, haven't we, haven't we Pads? Put in, a, put in a few hours. That's the first ever hammer. Yeah. Well, they are, they are as rare as uh, rocking horse poo around here, so... Enjoy, mate. Enjoy. It's fantastic find. Yes. Hey! <laughs> Oh ancient wise tree, please give me the knowledge, give me the inspiration to find silver, preferably of the hammered variety, because Paddy's got a coin that's probably five, six, seven hundred years old. I would love to find one. Please, please help. Found a tent peg. Stupid tree. Oh, yes. Pads, has, Pads has found this little beauty. What is that? Is it a buckle or a brooch? Wouldn't like to say. I reckon that's old. I reckon that's older than Georgian. But there's a pin mark on the back of it. There's something there, yeah. Where the, where the pin was. Yeah, I, I, that's I, a brooch, that I, it, isn't I it? I think that's a brooch. I think that's a medieval brooch because I found one here and I reckon that's somewhat similar. So that is a killer find. Well done, Pads. Hey, we're having an having absolute a good day today. Yeah, damn right we are. I think we, we, we deserve it to be honest. Yeah, that's part of the pin, isn't it? It could well be. Definitely. Yeah, that rocks, mate. Yeah. Get in there, boy. Get in. <laughs> that's some more of it, eh? Come on. I'm onto something here, a decent signal here, but it's so the ground's so hard to dig, it's like it concrete. Is. That's medieval style, isn't it? That's not Georgian. I think so. Yeah, that's my guess anyway. Well done. Yeah. Boys having a flyer today. <laughs> hey! Time. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> Burn it, mate. Somebody's lost the heel of their boot. I found it. It's only a foot down. Uh, 1700s probably. I don't know. Intriguing little ring I found. Uh, certainly the right size to be a finger ring, but is it? Is it or is it just junk? Is it old? Could it be medieval? I don't know. That's one to research, but that could be that could be a, a, a really old finger ring, medieval. I don't know. It's definitely got something about it. It's too rough to be, a, and yet the inside looks quite smooth, like a, like a finger ring would be like. So I don't know. Interesting. Well, it's that time of day, just about lunchtime. Let me and Paddy have our little chill out five minutes and reflect on what we've done and to be honest we've had a really good morning Paddy's having an exceptional morning just finding that hammer unbelievable it appears it's an early Edward the first although we haven't confirmed that yet but it certainly looks like it which is just unbelievable and the date what did I say it was 12 1270 to 1340s roughly just astonishing Right, Pink Floyd's Animals, uh, 1977 release, um, it's got a couple of stories that go with it, I think it's a really great album, really underrated actually, um, it sort of came out around the punk era, probably got a lot of stick for, for being sort of dated and whatever, but I think it's a really cool album. Um, famous tour incident is where um, Roger Waters, disillusioned with touring and big stadium concerts spat in the face of a Canadian fan at Montreal as he scrabbled up the front of the stage. Um, Waters later totally regretted that and realised what effect Torum was having on him and gave him the sort of uh, impetus to write the next album, The Wall, um, all about alienation and all kinds of stuff. Um, but it's a really cool album. 
and I think in, in 77 the band also flew a giant flying pig above Battersea uh, power station as a part of the advertising campaign so check it out it's a great album like a virgin touch but a very fast excuse Paddy he's just a little bit excited after his uh, awesome find I found another one of these well it seems to go with uh, with the bigger one for some reason odd isn't it Ooh, we've got rain clouds about today there he is the hammy king up some more today pads you like me out yeah got a confidence up now how can we fail let's One get more coin in four years can't be bad nah it's a good ratio of that <laughs> four more years and you might get another one you yeah. never know right let's get stuck into it right paddy has got a coin ball here and it looks like there's something good in it. Right, off you go. That's the lot pad. Is that an old knee? Or is it a button? No, it's a button. No, it's a button. No. Is it a good button? Yeah, not. No. It's an old button. I don't know what it is. It's an old button. It's a button. Button's a button. Button's a button. Good start. Look at the lovely geese. And it looks like they've actually built us uh, some changing rooms. Gaz and Paddy's changing rooms. Ideal. Yeah, there's a big flock of geese there. Are they a flock? I don't know. A gaggle! And Pads has just pulled this one out from, well, a good foot down. If not more. Very, very old button. That's where the shank was. Nothing on it, but that's a real old one. Real old one. Just found something quite cool. Tiny little coin weight. Check it out. That's the best side. Uh, is that a G or a B or something? That's quite old, isn't it? 17, 1800s. It's just a bit scratch, sort of scratchy pattern on the back. But yeah, it's not too bad at all. Quite happy with that. Never found one before. It does rock. It's not a B or a anything else it's a little crown so I'm guessing at this early stage it's George the third era I've got an awesome coin this coin absolutely rocks well if it is a coin or a token or something check it out ah. yeah now I can see a king's head looking that way Looking to the right, it's not in good condition, obviously. And on the other side, there's figures and a horse. Is so there attacking them? Maybe. Now, could it be a foreign coin? Just. Hello, Paddy's got some as well. Let's go and check it out, but that looks a beauty. I have no idea what it is. Right. You got some of two pads? I'm coming. Woo! It's exciting. Two great coins, two great finds, hopefully. How's that for a bit of decoration, lad? Woo! What have you got there? I've got no idea. But it's decorative. Very floral. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. God jeez. No then. That looks to me like a, a handle off a of furniture, a pool, you know, off maybe a chest of drawers or something. It's old though, isn't it? It's definitely old. That's going to be Georgian. Oh, that is nice. Look at that. Yeah, it's definitely off a chest of drawers or something, isn't it? Or possibly furniture, furniture stud. Oh, mate, that's class. That's a rocking Yeah, that does rock. Got something really cool. Look at that. God knows what it is. My guess is that it's a horse decoration. 
little trinket and I think it's old. I think it's sort of medieval. Well, amazingly, I found another one. Paddy's just had a look and thought, it's the other half, but it's not. That's the original one I found. And that's this one. This one's more complete. It's thicker and slightly bigger. I can only think it's horse decoration. But how strange to find two. <laughs> what are the odds of that? Well, this is the field that keeps giving. Uh, just found that one. Nice little tomback button. Not a tomback button. A dandy button. Well, whatever button. Nice little gilded uh, pattern going around the edge. That's all right. What you got, Paz? Anything? A nice little bill pop the old 1800s horse boy boot buckle. Still. Rocking fine. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? This field just keeps giving. We keep giving up on it and we come back and find stuff, don't we? Aye. There's no rules in this game. you got to make the rules. Make what you go along. Absolutely. You must be cold. No, I'm not, why? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That you're happy to see me. <laughs> I'm always happy to see you. <laughs> well, I've got some cool little relic. It's quite deep. No idea what it is though. It's got some sort of little nipple on it. But no idea. Talk with the nipples. Well, I reckon that's it today. I think we're both a bit knackered. What do you reckon, buds? Had enough? Go on then. Give us your joke of the day, Paddy! What happened to Jesus when he went to Mount Olive? I don't know, what happened to Jesus when he went to Mount Olive? Papa, he gave him a hug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see you next time. <laughs>